So today we started off with our ab workout. We're now officially training abs every single time that we hit the gym. It's going to be our warm up because we just want to prioritize it a bit more. Both myself and my training partner, we don't really worry too much about things like abs, obliques, calves, and um, the smaller muscles, predominantly because we care more about strength as powerlifters or when, when we've been training as powerlifters. But now that we've got that bodybuilding approach, we, we definitely have to prioritize abs, obliques, lower back, arms, and, uh, and calves as well. So we run through a circuit as our first exercise each time. And uh, last week was our first week and it definitely, definitely hurt us, especially doing it five times over the week. But it's just two sets. And basically it's done in a circuit fashion where we do 15 reps per exercise and uh, we just flow from one machine to the next to the next exercise and um, it's pretty good sometimes we have to mix up the order just based on whether the machines are available uh, but we make sure that we get that done right here about to do some incline press so we're doing some triceps right now so I'm going to flow through some incline dumbbell press then over to some supported incline rows and then straight over to some easy bar bicep curls. So the point of training at the moment is to really try to focus on bringing up my biceps just because they're muscles that I don't really train. I've never really had an arms day for quite a few years now. So we want to try to hit our arms as often as we can but with a high amount of volume as well. So what we've done is we've taken the chest and back day and we've added biceps to each exercise so instead of doing a superset fashion we kind of made it a tricep and that way we can just get through a lot more volume through our arms without really thinking about it too much and a couple of different angles as well so right now we're doing three different um, triceps on day one and this is obviously day one of our program so you'll see We've got incline dumbbell press and incline supported row into these bicep curls and then we go over to something else very shortly. Way too light. Way too light. Straight into the incline machine row or incline machine press and then we'll move, move over to a one arm row and then some hammer curls. So these are all exercises that I haven't done in quite a long time so the rep range is Basically, most things are just eight reps. Some, some things that we do are 12 to 15, but for the most part, it's eight reps. And coming from a powerlifting based training model or training program for the last 12 weeks, or even longer than that, eight reps is you know definitely a hypertrophy rep range for us. We're typically training in the three to six rep range for the most part, and even some doubles and triples. So this is good, this is, this is a nice change. Lots, lots of angles, um, trying to get a squeeze, trying to pause at the bottom, and a slight pause at the top, just trying to have great, great focus on mind-muscle mind connection, which is something that you don't really think about as a power lifter. <clears throat> just trying to think about what we're trying to actually achieve, rather than just moving the weight. So, because I don't train arms, Forearms, biceps, they're actually extremely weak compared to what they used to be. So, you know, if you're someone that doesn't train arms because they get hit when you do back workouts, you probably should still train your biceps. Like, they do need to get trained. And uh, they're gonna, gonna obviously get weaker if you don't. I'm learning that because right now my training partner right here, even though he's crazy intense right now pushing through this chest press, um, his biceps are actually way stronger than mine. And that's because he loves his arm days. This is our last tricep right here. We go from an, a, a slight, very slight incline fly. Just trying to get a good range of motion there. Occasionally, um, I like to pause at the bottom of the fly just to get a bit more of a stretch. And I also like to keep my elbows bent a bit, just I feel a bit safer that way. Um, and I still get the same stretch that I'm, that I'm looking for and the same isolation as well. So straight from this incline fly, I go right behind my, right behind there and do some pullovers. Pullovers are great for a stretch through your lats, through your chest, through your abs, and uh, definitely great exercise 
just having that dumbbell there on your chest actually is a good way to just crack, crack through your back and uh, feel a bit better in the process. Dumbbell pullovers are an exercise that I used to do many years ago with extremely heavy weight compared to now. And it was definitely something that, that was always in my program. I, I used to train with the bodybuilder about mm, 10 years ago now or so. Straight from those pullovers, we go over to the preacher girl and do some, some light ass weight which um, in weeks to come will obviously be increased. I actually have a problem with my left bicep. I, uh, I think I tore it many years ago, I guess deadlifting at a young age. And uh, my left bicep, it actually peaks up a little bit higher. The, the bottom insertion looks like it's a little bit torn. So I'm actually weaker on that side right now. However, when I was training arms, uh, the strength was equal, but the uh, it had definitely atrophied from the left side. So that's something I need to work on. Right now, I've still got 23 weeks before my first bodybuilding comp, so I definitely have time to grow.